Right, Gaffer, great result at Camelford tonight. How do you feel about it all? Yeah, thrilled, obviously. Um, I think these are Camelford probably one of the best sides in the league. Watched them pre season, watched them against Bodmin, and they're a good side. And we've come up here tonight, and I said we're a good side as well. And it'll be on the night who, who takes the chances and gets a rubber green. And thankful that was us. Um, I thought we did brilliantly to get. To get 2 0 up, I thought we carried more threat than them, although they had a lot more of the ball. Um, and they scored an absolute cracker to get it back to back to 2 1. And then we'd gone down to 10 men, and he'd always sort of worry. And then at that stage, I'd probably take a draw. And then after 92 minutes, um, I definitely would have taken a draw when we're down to 10 and hanging on. Um, and then just uh, I wanted to keep it in the corner. We didn't. We threw a long one in. And Jacob Smells, what, what a finish. Um, and, you know, if it was a draw, I'd have been, I'd have been cock a hoop. Uh, the way the game sort of panned out, but to win it is absolutely fantastic. And Camelford won't drop many points up here, we know that. So, so to sort of come here and, and, and get the win is, is absolutely fantastic. And I'm thrilled, and the lads are excited, and, 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 and rightly so, because not just the win, but the manner we managed to pull it out of the bag at the end is fantastic. Spoke about before the game, there's going to be periods of adversity in the game where we're going to have to sort of knuckle down and probably be better than we've been over the last sort of, well, in the four years that I've been at the club, really, where you know, we have conceded back-to-back -back goals and things like that. And I said, look, we need to be better when the chips are down. And we knew there'd be periods in this game where Camelford would, would, would have our backs against the wall. They're a good side. Um, but we dealt with that. We had a period in the first half. We, we kind of weathered that and, just, and scored. And we had that massive period at the end where we were down to 10, hanging on, and somehow found a way to win the match. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Absolutely. And, and scoring in, in, the winner in injury time away from home at Camelford, what did that say to you about the boys that you've got there? It says they've got a bit of character. Um, so it's a fitter than I thought they were, um, but it's it, it's just three points. And I said I said to the boys before the game, it's probably two sides that go under the radar a little bit when people are talking about, you know, who's going to be towards the top of the league. Um, I I think this Camelford side are really good, and I think they're top three materials. So to sort of come here and win, not just the win in a manner we did, I'm, I'm delighted and. Um, um, and, and really just looking forward to Wednesday now. You, as a gaffer, you, can, you can't dwell on it. I'm already thinking about, you know, what's the formation going to be like. We've got a few, carrying a few knocks from tonight and what we're going to do on Wednesday and, and how we're going to move on because we can't dwell on this. We've got to move on. And yeah, I might enjoy it tonight. The cans of, cans of beer are flowing, but tomorrow morning I'll wake up and uh, yeah, it'll be the score on Wednesday. Another tough game. Paul, congratulations. Go and enjoy the evening tonight. Yeah, sure I will. Cheers.